Hello and welcome to another episode of Tursku. Um, this time I'm at home and uh, I have a special project for Tursku because um, when I bought, bought, bought the boat uh, it came with an air horn uh, at least with the trumpet that I have here over here in my shelf but um, I haven't ha had the um, compressor for the horn ever and uh, now a few weeks ago I found one found one on eBay and I ordered it ordered it from the uh, land of the free which is America it, it cost 20 20 dollars and uh, yeah, actually the mailing was more than, more than 20 20 dollars so um, it, as delivered to home, this was uh, something like 50 euros. So, so um, I, I don't know yet does the horn horn work, um, but uh, on this episode, I'm gonna try it. Hopefully, it works. If it doesn't, then we have a project on our hands. So the uh, actual horn is made in Italy. It's a Fiam. Fiam branded. You can see over there. And uh, it, it has a nice patina into it. The uh, compressor is right here. It's also the same brand. And it uh, at least seems like a new one. So uh, they need to be connected. So uh, let's move into the tool shed and try to find it trying to find the equipment needed okay so welcome to the testing facility wire uh, a drill battery uh, 10.8 volts so uh, it's a bit, a bit under 12 volts but I think we can test it over here and then I have some uh, fuel hose this isn't meant for compressed air, but uh, and it's a bit dusty. But uh, I think this is close enough diameter, so uh, I can test that. So first thing I'm gonna test the compressor that it does work. First of all, I'm gonna connect the uh, to the battery. So it's just a bare bare cable, but I think it it'll go into the connector like that and like that this there there's the poles under under over here so uh, I'm gonna just try try it like this hopefully the positive and negative are, are the right ones so uh, does it run It does. Hopefully I'm, I'm not gonna cut myself. Good, like that. And then I'm gonna attach the hose into the compressor. I don't know will it hold without a hose clamp, but I'm going to try. Like that. And then it's <laughs> complete. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun. Dead gummit. And okay, let's see. <laughs> let's wake the neighbors. Let's try. No sound. 
let's try it another way so it might have been the pulse wrong way I'm gonna try it mm, okay no sound so uh it seems like there's something wrong with the horn so uh yeah <laughs> it didn't work it didn't work so um i think that because the uh, compressor is new there's probably nothing wrong with that so the problem is in the trumpet so uh, I'm going to open it so how do I open it it remains to be seen but uh, it seems like there's these uh, screws all over so uh, first of all I'm gonna open those It is really quite quite simple the structure over here but uh, I don't know so this this uh, brass plate over here, which is which is being a bit corroded, uh, or oxidated, I suppose. Uh, I think I, I'm gonna soak it and then try to clean it up. We'll see. We'll see if it works. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm gonna soak it into diesel oil so first of all i'm gonna put back the small screws over here into the plate so i won't lose them yep it's diesel all right this can has been in my shelf for many many years and it, it seems like it isn't a very good, good one because the fuel is coming from the wrong spot over here, but... Mm. <laughs> it is going to be a fun episode, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I have some fuel over here now and uh, I'm just gonna put this over here. And I'm just gonna let it soak. I took some fine sandpaper, this is 280 grit, and uh, I'm gonna wet sand it clean over here. So let's see if that works. getting better and it, at least it feels flat already so 
So uh, it seems like this uh, plate over here is some kind of a resonator over here. So and the pressurized air tries to go, tries to make this disc flex, and that causes the sound of the horn. So uh, it also seems that the uh, the uh, seal of this plate the on the outer, outer circle was is also quite quite dry so i'm going to use the use, use some kind of a uh, sealant sealant for that also but, uh, let's see let's see it doesn't look quite clean but it feels feels very clean right now, so I'm gonna just dry it out. And there's the seal I was talking about. It's a paper seal and it's all dried out, so I'm gonna remove it. At least it stayed in one piece, so uh, then I'm gonna sand the outer ring over here just a little bit and then there's the inner circle that surfaces against this plate over here so I'm gonna clean that up just a little bit also like that. So um, now I'm gonna add the uh, sealant. I've had this stuff on my shelf for several several years also but I don't think that it'll go bad if it comes out of this tube. Yeah it seems fine. So I'm gonna add a very thin film over here. A bit more. Like that. And then this plate goes back into here and it'll probably find its place and uh, this backing plate is next Okay, shall we try it again? I need the compressor to blow some air, not to suck it. So uh, now it's going to... It blows. Still no sound. Uh, hmm, it seems like I have to go to the internet to find out how to get it fixed. Well, uh, 
after I turned off the camera I started thinking well, what would help help us swim with the sound and uh, as I mentioned earlier these batteries are 10.8 volts and then I decided to try that maybe that wasn't in quite enough so I try, tried again with the Makita 18, 18 volt battery and uh, look what happens yellow is minus and red is positive so Suddenly, there is sound. And uh, I know it probably doesn't sound like anything uh, on the camera, but I can tell you that the horn, <laughs> horn is loud. But... Uh, I'm not gonna wake up my neighbors anymore, so uh, maybe that's that for for tonight. And uh, yeah, something something got fixed. I don't know when will I install it yet on this season or when will I do it only next next spring. But uh, at least it's nice to know that the horn works and the compressor works and. Uh, now I even know how it works. So, uh, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs>